Hi guys, Irina here and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. In the past couple of months, I've gotten so many comments from you guys with the same question about which phone to get, the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 13. So in this video, let's talk about all the differences between these two phones. And I know it's always a hard decision when it comes to picking a new phone, but I hope this video will make your choice slightly easier and let's begin. So here I have the iPhone 12 in green and the iPhone 13 in blue. And speaking of color options, we have a slightly wider variety of colors for the iPhone 12 at the moment. But as you know, the iPhone 12 in purple was released a few months later after the Apple event. So I think there is a possibility of an iPhone 13 in a new finish as well. But if you ask me, this green color is my personal favorite. To me, it's just perfect. There are not a lot of differences when it comes to the design of these iPhones. The biggest change on the iPhone 13 is the camera module. We have diagonally located lenses, which are significantly bigger now. Other than that, these phones are pretty much the same when it comes to dimensions and weight. The iPhone 13 is just 10 grams heavier than the iPhone 12, but I would say I can't really feel this difference. Of course, both of these phones support 5G and now let's talk about the displays of these phones. It's important to note that the iPhone 13 has a smaller notch than the iPhone 12, which is definitely an improvement. But from my experience, whether you're using the iPhone 12 with a bigger notch or the iPhone 13 with a smaller notch, after a while you stop paying any attention to the notch. So I would say at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We have a 6.1 inch OLED display on the iPhone 12 as well as on the iPhone 13 and when it comes to using these phones, I would say these two displays feel pretty much the same in terms of sharpness and colors. They both have a 60Hz refresh rate, however the display on the iPhone 13 is noticeably brighter and I would say this is the only significant difference between the displays of these phones. But at the same time, speaking of the display display brightness of the iPhone 12. This phone is not bad at all. I'm pretty sure you will feel comfortable with the brightness of this display, especially when it comes to using this phone indoors. And when it comes to the outdoors, I can't actually think of too many phones that are good in direct sunlight. So I would say the display on the iPhone 12 feels quite average when using outdoors and the iPhone 13 feels slightly above average. And in case you're wondering, one of the best phones on my list when it comes to using it in direct sunlight is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Speaking of the display features like the True Tone, the Night Shift and so on, you are not gonna miss out on them if you go for the iPhone 12 since these phones have exactly the same display features. Next, let's talk about the cameras of these iPhones. We have a dual 12 megapixel camera on the iPhone 12 as well as on the iPhone 13. We have the same apertures here. Both of these phones sport an ultra wide camera. However, it's important to note that the main camera on the iPhone 13 has a larger sensor than the iPhone 12. And in general, the cameras with larger sensors have an advantage of taking brighter and sharper looking photos with less noise, especially when it comes to low light. Speaking of the front cameras, they both have 12 megapixel front cameras with the apertures of 2.2. I already have a very comprehensive camera comparison video on my channel. Check it out to see for yourself all the differences between these iPhones. But if you ask me, I would say there are not a lot of differences between the photos and videos you get from the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13. There are just a couple of categories in which the iPhone 13 performs slightly better, in my opinion. The first one is selfie videos. I would say the videos from the iPhone 13 are more consistent. You don't just get good results when it comes to the subject of the video, but also the background and the sky is properly exposed. As you can see, the iPhone 12 tends to blow up the sky at times. And the next category I want to mention is 
video stabilization. The iPhone 12 has optical image stabilization, while the iPhone 13 has sensor shift optical image stabilization, which is a more advanced technology. But I think you guys will agree with me that both of these phones have outstanding video stabilization. These videos were shot handheld and I wasn't even trying to make these videos look smooth. I was just walking pretty fast and still, as you can see, these videos look very smooth. When I watch super carefully, I can see the improvement in video stabilization on the iPhone 13, but this difference is very subtle. So if you ask me, Honestly, I don't think the iPhone 13 is significantly better than the iPhone 12 when it comes to camera performance, but the iPhone 13 offers some new camera features that you wouldn't have on the iPhone 12, and let's quickly go over them. The first one is the photographic styles, which looks like filters, but the best thing about it is that it preserves skin tones. Of course, your skin tone slightly changes as well to match the overall photo, but it's not like with the filters where you could get absolutely terrible results when it comes to your skin tone. And also, the good thing about the photographic styles is that you could adjust the tone and the warmth to make your skin tone look most natural and realistic. Another new camera feature on the iPhone 13 is the cinematic mode. There was a lot of hype about it, especially when the iPhone 13 lineup was just released. So basically in this mode, the background gets blurred, making this cinematic effect. And also this mode lets you shift focus in your videos. Honestly, I don't really use this mode because I think there are too many imperfections in the videos. Sometimes the blur is not evenly applied. At this point, the cinematic mode is more of a gimmick to me, so if you wanna buy the iPhone 13 because of the cinematic mode, think twice. Now let's talk about batteries. We have an upgrade in battery capacity on the iPhone 13, which is always great news. And before we start talking about the battery lives of these devices, let's do a charging test. I'm gonna use the cables that I got in the boxes with these phones and these 20 watt power adapters from Apple that now, unfortunately, you have to buy separately. And let's begin. Apple claims that we could get up to 50% charge in 30 minutes with a 20 watt charger, so we'll see. And in 30 minutes we get 56% on the iPhone 12 and exactly 50% on the iPhone 13. In one hour we get 85% on the iPhone 12 and 82% on the iPhone 13. One hour and a half hours later, these phones are tied at 96%, 98% on the iPhone 12, and surprisingly, the iPhone 13 is already fully charged after one hour and 15 minutes. And just six minutes later, the iPhone 12 reaches 100% as well. Just to confirm, both of these phones have 100% battery health, so the charging times for these two phones are pretty close to each other, despite the difference in battery capacity. Speaking of charging, it's important to note that both of these phones support wireless charging as well as the MagSafe, so all the MagSafe accessories are available for you, whether you decide to go for the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 13. When it comes to battery life, I would say the battery capacity improvement on the iPhone 13 is quite noticeable. When it comes to using the iPhone 13 with moderate use, I don't even have to charge it every day, I usually charge it every other day. And when I'm using the iPhone 12, usually by the end of the day I have about 30% of charge left, so I do have to charge this phone every day. However, I would say the iPhone 12 is still pretty good in terms of battery life. 
Next, let's talk about the audio quality and the speakers of these phones. As you can see, the in-display earpiece has moved higher on the iPhone 13 and now the speaker is longer. The bottom speakers look exactly the same on these models and it looks like nothing has changed here. Speaking of sound, the speakers on the iPhone 13 are noticeably louder and most importantly, the sound is clear on the iPhone 13. This difference is a especially noticeable when you set the volume to the max. This new in-display speaker on the iPhone 13 is the reason for this sound improvement and you can actually hear how much more powerful it is than the earpiece on the iPhone 12. When it comes to biometrics and security features, of course, we have the Face ID on the iPhone 12 as well as on the iPhone 13. There is no difference between these phones since the Face ID works perfectly fine on both of these iPhones. However, keep in mind that neither of these phones has a fingerprint sensor. Speaking of the overall performance and the internals of these phones, the iPhone 13 runs on the latest A15 chip, while the iPhone 12 is powered by its predecessor, the A14. And of course, the latest chip is faster and all the benchmark tests will prove it to you. But the truth is, as it often happens with two consecutive phone generations, you won't really feel this difference in speed. Both of these phones are very snappy and fast and of course, they're capable of running demanding games. Both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 are IP68 rated, which means these phones could survive underwater submersion with a maximum depth of 6 meters for up to 30 minutes. The difference in price between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 is $100. Of course, it could vary depending on the country you live in, but it's important to know that the base iPhone 12 model comes with only 64 gigabytes of internal storage, while the iPhone 13 comes with 128 gigabytes. So it would be fair to compare 128 gigabyte versions, and this way the price difference turns out to be just 50 dollars. So, if you ask me, the iPhone 13 has two main advantages. It has longer battery life and a brighter display than the iPhone 12. And speaking of the new camera features of the iPhone 13, honestly, I'm not sold. However, while making your decision, always keep in mind that the newer iPhone model would always give you more years of timely software updates from Apple. So the iPhone 13 would probably be a better investment, plus you get a brighter display and improved battery life. However, if you want to save some money and decide to go for the iPhone 12, it would be a great decision as well, because at the end of the day, the iPhone 13 is not a huge step up from the iPhone 12 by any means. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know which phone you're gonna get. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.